Hey friends, welcome back to All on On Law. Guys, today I'm going to talk about the EKG changes, EKG, EKG changes in hyperkalemic patients. or hyperkalemia okay guys so this is a very important topic for USMLE step 1 okay and CK so guys before starting a discussion on this I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so let me quickly start this so before starting hyperkalemia is nothing but more potassium in the serum right so what's the normal value the normal value is nearly from 3.7 to 5.2. Sometimes for a, for a, for um, making it simple in USMLE examination, we just remember it as a 3.5 to 5.5. Okay, guys. So just for a USMLE, I'm telling this. So let's move on. As you know, the basic thing I would like to suggest, I would like to tell you, tell you here that if there is a hyperkalemia means it's a more than 5.5 right it's known as a hyperkalemia okay hyperkalemia okay if the potassium in the serum is more is less than 6 okay then it suggests a renal cause remember for USMLE I'm talking about renal cause okay if it's more than six, more than six, okay, such as a non-renal. So think of some other causes of high potassium, okay. And if the less than six renal cause is suspected, then you have to do the two tests. One is the serum aldosterone levels and renin levels, aldo and renin okay if renin is normal it suggests a hypoaldosteronism and if both the serum renin and aldosterone are low it suggests what hyporenemic hypoaldosteronism right and if serum aldosterone is normal it suggests a renal tubular defect so these are the things I'm going to discuss later but here right now I'm going to talk about what are the EKG changes Expect, uh, accepted accepted in uh, what you call um, hyperkalemia let's make a beautiful table if the serum level is 5.5 to 6.5 what are the expected what you call EKG changes we see remember there will be a peaked T waves peaked okay and the peaked T waves defined as a greater than 5 millimeter in limb blades okay 5 mm and greater than 10 mm greater than 10 mm in precordial leads in precordial leads okay and remember also symmetric tented peaked waves of any height normal T waves are asymmetric okay right now let's talk about if the potassium level is more than 6.5 to 7.5 what are the EKG changes we expect now this is really very important for USML step 1 and step 2 CK examination because you need to diagnose the disease depending on the what you call uh, EKG findings whether it's a hyperkalemic, hypocalcemic, uh, electrolyte imbalance okay so here you see a flattened P waves flattened P waves or P wave flattened P wave okay prolonged PR interval is prolonged and depressed ST segment
okay these are the changes that take place if the potassium level is 6.5 to 7.5 let's move on to the next thing that is if the levels are 7.5 bit higher 8.5 the only EKG change you can expect over here is QRS prolongation. Prolonged. Okay. Right. And if it's more than 8.5, then a sine wave. Okay, guys, this is a beautiful table for your USMLA examination. Try to know the uh, EKG changes expected in a patient with hyperkalemic depending on the levels of uh, potassium level uh, Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure this video is really very helpful for you Thank you so much for watching this video um, Please do share our videos with your friends. Please thumb up and um, Keep watching our other videos. Thank you so much